Alderwoman Key? Here. Alderwoman Madison? Here. Vice Mayor Rawl? Here. Alderman Ward? Alderman Adams? Both have to answer. We've got three anyway. Mm. Next we'll have prior by Alderman Alderwoman Carol Keith, and after that, please release the flag. Amen. In the name of Jesus, dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you please forgive us for all of our sins. Father, we praise you, we exalt you. For God, you're so good and you are so worthy to be praised, Lord. Father God, we thank you how you look beyond our many, many faults and you see our needs. Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will bless this meeting, Lord. Lord, lead us to do, God, what you would have us to do, Father. And Lord Jesus, we lift up the families to you that lost their children and the teachers, God. We lift up each and every one of them, God. For truly, Lord, only you, God can bring them comfort. We ask it all in the mighty name of Jesus. And, Lord, I'll be so careful to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In Jesus' holy name we pray. And everybody said amen. 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 I pray the allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, in the with liberty and justice for all. Okay, the next thing that's on our agenda is for the discussion after the manhole repair. Uh, oh, yes, yeah, this is common. I didn't say that. Sure, you got anything you want to say? No, <laughs> come, to, come to the podium and give you a uh, name and address. Uh, Jerry Malone, 372 Smith Street. Uh, now, I just want to. Of course, to tell you, the museum's doing fantastic. It's people really getting interested in our projects. We did have a couple of donations. We were able to buy a couple of computers. Uh, we're going to be able to order our uh, museum software. They make special software so you can track everything with and finances and the whole, you know, it's what most all the museums use. We're going to be able to get it and a cup of color printer, a uh, photo because we've got a lot of photos to cover and then regular printer and stuff. So right now, that good, we've got a good basis. But uh, one thing I wanted to say to the board, uh, and I, about every day I try to go at least to a business and a person <laughs> with the museum. I mean, sometimes more, sometimes less. But And it seems like, you know, we've got a really uh, good little community. And uh, and I think, uh, you know, Jeff does a lot of this and does a really good job of doing it. But I think we get this board going this year is somebody, one of the members, would take it on, or be Jeff or one of the other ones, as uh, have a community committee that would visit small businesses, uh, new people that moved into town, and just kind of welcome them and kind of make them feel part of the town. I know this uh, this right street here, the guy's got that uh, Drift East, I believe it is. He's got a uh, franchise on those boats that drift, you know, down the river and fish, which is getting to be a big deal. He had a soft park company, and he sold it, and he's wanting to expand, and I think he's going to do a lot with his business. And, uh, you know, and he kind of... You know, you know, kind of put that thing out of, but like, you know, a little bit more community or maybe, I don't know, maybe feel a little bit more welcomey or maybe nobody really been by the scene. You know, I mean, it's got, got kind of that feeling, so I mean, which is you know, just somebody touch base. The one up there where the VFW is, it's got all that wood everywhere. Yeah. It's got a sawmill in the back yeah. mm-hmm. and, uh, and doing a really good job of selling a lot of wood, uh, rough wood. And his wife inside of it makes signs, and while I was out over the weekend, stopped places, uh, probably three or four things had her signs in them. <laughs> Business it was selling them, you know, and, and you know, it says welcome or whatever. It's a real nice wood sign. So that's, you know, a little business that's expanding, expanding out. And, uh, and like, um, and new people, like on Main Street, there's a couple moved in there about, I call it the Bailey House or, the old Kessler house and stuff on there is uh, they're from Jonesboro. He's a retired contractor, and she done genealogy for Jonesboro. People that wanted, you know, stuff, and she developed a book, 
anybody in Jonesboro that wanted to know their history and stuff on which is really interesting to on that and uh, and just I was thinking the other day just to the block where I'm at there, there's either four or five new people that's moved in. Some some people moved out just moved in this week and stuff and then some's been there a little while but it does, you know, different businesses and stuff around. So that's it. And then, you know, and in fact, if there's a com- city committee, sort of, I mean, community committee, and say like somebody from the fire hall, for instance, you know, if they went out visiting and there was some young people there that wanted to join the fire hall, then that'd be good or get involved with, you know, city or maybe looking for city workers or whatever. And like say, you know, Jeff, you know, a lot, a lot of them said he's been around, you know, so I know he's, He's done a lot of it, and he's done a fantastic job. Is, is there somebody out every day? Where's that? It's a, it's a museum. No, we're just kind of working, you know, somebody's in and out, but you can call me or anybody else, and we'll be glad to, you know, okay. anything you want to know about it. But it, but uh, but the community thing, I just think it'd be a project that uh, y'all could take and really uh, the people in town would really feel feel good, you know, and, and go to the little, you know, all the organizations, the little leagues, new business, and stuff. Just kind of have a liaison to or find out what's going on with them uh, thing because um, little league, of course, that's a short t- deal, you know, three months. But the people that come, the three hundred, two to three hundred people that comes down there, it's unreal. The the business people and stuff. That's, that's part of it. It's got the kids that play, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> and stuff in there from lawyers and doctors, you know, executives to house, you know, housewives and so forth. So, and, okay. and I think it just uh, be a good liaison between the city right. and the uh-huh. people. Yeah, thank you. Thank okay. you, Jerry. I apologize that I didn't get by the museum oh, Saturday. Time. Okay. okay. But, you know, I do reach out. I just don't say nothing about it, but new people that's moved in, I go by and introduce myself and let them know, you know, that we're here. They need it. Met a lot of yeah, people. I know a lot of y'all do. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of them want to register to vote. So that's, yeah. that's good. I've got to take care of that. You know, if you go somewhere new, you want to fit this church where you want to feel welcome. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And for business and brand up and stuff. Yeah. Okay, the next agenda uh, on the item is a discussion action of manhole repair. Uh, Dave Wilson and Mr. Rice and the, uh, the what is it he call it, the uh, that talks for us down there. Arbitrator. Arbitrator went down there, and I did, went with them down there last week, and uh, we didn't have to go on the Moore's property at all. The Moore's property, Moore was supposed to be to me, but they wasn't there. And we met uh, with, the, with the Sharps, and uh, the contractor, Alvin Rice, said that, when he repaired this thing, he could go just on one side of the fence. That he would not uh, get on the Moore's property at all or even hurt their property. And so they was asking for, getting permission, they was asking for $3,000 instead of twenty two fifty. So we was going to give the Moore's, I think, $900. So I took, uh, took the liberty of taking uh, $750 off of that and offered it to the Moore's. So they accepted it. But we'd have to have the board here to meet tonight to make sure that I did right on it. The Sharps. The the Sharps. The Sharps. The 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 Sharps. Was asking for three thousand instead of twenty two fifty. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh And I took seven hundred fifty dollars off of the Moors because we wasn't going to give them anything because we wasn't going to use wasn't going to place on their property Uh to give uh, the Sharps three thousand dollars to let us go on their property. And the the, uh, contractor said, if there's anything tore up or what about the fence or whatever, he'd repair it. So he says he can do it without even touching the fence. Moore's fence. Okay. That he can do it without even touching it. Okay. So as soon as it dries up, and we vote on this tonight to do that, uh, as soon as uh, it uh, dries up, and he's going to get in and get started on it. He's already got the material already in his possession already. Okay. But you have talked to the Moore's about it uh, previously, I sent, right? I sent the Moore's two different letters. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So well, the engineer sent them two different letters, and I think you've got a copy of them with your packet. Okay. So you won't be on their property? No, period. not at all. Period. Period. Okay. won't be on okay. their property at all. Okay. I thought it was on their property. It's not no, uh, the fence is, but they went to your random. The manhole was on Sharp's property. Oh, well, And they, they had to go down there so far on the fence, they went around the manhole. Oh, okay. And down, see. Oh, they couldn't be able to fish through the manhole, so they went around it 
and the pro and manhood, like I say, is on the sharp's property. Yeah. You can go down and look at it entirely on their property. And he says he can fix it without going on no, the most property. That's good. So I do, I hear a motion in a second to go ahead and do this. I make a motion, Mayor. Okay. Do I have a second? Okay. Who did the second? Uh, Carol. Okay, Carol. Okay, call the roll. Alderwoman Key. Yes. Alderwoman Madison. Yes. Vice Mayor Bulls. Yes. I've got a copy of the, uh, Mr. Rice's contract. If you all want a copy, I'll make it for you. Okay. I've already got the paper signed and get back to him. And I'll make you a copy of the contract if you want it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now the next thing on here is the discussion action on the uh, City of Bristol water <coughs> treatment adjustment from uh, two dollars and forty nine cents to two seventy cents per thousand gallons. They went up twenty seven cents on us, and which we got really, not really that much, but we don't have any other choice but to buy it to pay for it, because that's what they went up to us when we uh, take our sewer water from our from our town, and if we have overflows from our big tanker truck. And they're going to charge us 27 cents a gallon more. That's what they're going to charge. Waste to buy water from Bristol. No, that's not buying water. That's just, that's just waste of, that's just sewer water. Sewer sure, water. Yeah, to dispose of it. That's all that is, yeah. But they haven't went up on the buying of water. Oh, oh, okay, good. Yeah, the agenda is misleading. Yeah, it is. Because it, really it is. should say, in discussion and action, it should say right. sewer yeah, treatment. Yeah, I that myself, yeah. I should have put water. sewer water on there, but that's what it is. But right now, it's $2.49 for 1,000 gallons, and it's going up to two seventy six for 1,000 gallons. Mm -hmm. Request to be recognized, Mayor. Yes, sir. Uh, I think this adjustment is reasonable with the fuel cost, with the additional fuel cost. And, you know, the city of Bristol has been a great partner to us, and they continue to service us. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm inclined to vote yes on this motion. Right here a second. I'll second, I'll second it. Okay. Got a motion to second, Sherry. Sandy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All the woman key. Yes. Alderwoman Madison. Yes. Vice Mayor Boyle. Yes. Okay, that's the end of our business. Have you got any old business you want or new business? Uh, no. I have some new business, old nope. business. No, we can't do new business. Okay, do it right now. Do I'll do it in the workshop. Okay, we'll do it in the workshop. Yeah, it kind of threw me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and adjourn the meeting, and then we'll go into our workshop. Have a good evening, everyone. Okay. Oh,